Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. This is a continuation of a piece of content which I, I hope will be a rolling piece of content. So I think it was either June or July I did a My EDC for that month. Um, and I know you guys really appreciated it. You like to see what I'm carrying just on a general snapshot day. So I've not added I shall lie, I think there's two things that I've added today just to show extra things that I am carrying. Um, but for the last, hmm, the last week, this carry hasn't changed for the last week. Some things I've been carrying actually a little bit longer. Um, so this is, this is kind of a snapshot. This is my EDC September 2021. Now, I'll go through the usual things. There's a couple of things that I know last time you mentioned that I missed out. And the first one was my, was my watch, which I'll get to. A lot of people, you know, like to ask what, what the jacket is that I'm wearing. So I'll, I'll, I'll cover the jacket as well. So uh, you can see a bit more about that as well. Um, but to start off with, so my carry left hand pocket is always my mobile phone. And the mobile phone is the same from the last piece of content. This is the Samsung S20. Um, I'm an Android user. I just have always been Android. It's not because I hate iOS. It's just because I've always used Android and you know I, I, I like the phones. Um, and it is in a Spigen case ever since, God, wow, uh, probably the last decade. Um, whenever I've had a phone, it's always gone immediately into a spigging case. In fact, if I've known which phone that I'm going to get, I'll make sure that I've got a spigging case so that it will go straight into that. Um, I certainly love their, love their cases. So that's my left hand pocket. In my right hand pocket, this is generally where I keep my other stuff um, to make sure generally that, that it doesn't scratch whatever is in my, my left hand pocket. So in here, uh, there's, there's a few things now. This is, again, it's just a continuation from that last piece of content. Um, in the last 12, 18 months, I've got a little bit more, uh, a lie, I've got a lot more into organization within the pocket. Uh, so here we have, this is the quiver or the pocket quiver um, from VanQuest Gear. This was sent to me by Jackal Medical, the team over there, very good, and they sent this to me with, with some other stuff, which. We'll be looking at again in the in the future, um, but this is this is a great little slip. So there are um, there's two pockets on the front that you can slip things into. There is a an elasticated loop on the side that you can put a pen into, and which is something slightly different from some others. When you turn it over, um, there is an additional slip. So if you wanted maybe to take some cash, maybe take a card with you or something, then you can put that into there, and and it all fits perfectly into the pocket. The back material on this is like a high plon material, so it's got kind of a dual quality. It slips into your pocket really nice, but when it's in there, there's like a weft to the side, so it, it stops it from, from moving around quite a bit. In the first pocket in here, there is the Traveller uh, Pry Tool from, I hope I pronounced this right, it's Gudenk uh, EDC. This is a titanium pry tool, which is, I mean, it's just the engineering on this, the tolerances are, are absolutely amazing. At the front, as you'd expect with a pry tool, there is a small pry tool, or it is, well, it's actually a quite large area that you can use for scraping, and getting things off. Um, there's some nice jimping on the top, and then underneath, uh, you can you can open bottles with this, but it's really, really nice. I love um, the, the, that, that strange kind of tap that you get with titanium. And then there is also a completely reversible uh, pocket clip, which is which is reasonably deep carry, um, so that you can you can swap that around through the sides. Next to that, I carry my Olight i3T. You know, these are such a simple, great flashlight. They use a AAA battery. You turn it on, you turn it off, what more do you need from a flashlight? Yes, it doesn't do strobe, yes, it hasn't got IR, and you know, all the kind of bells and whistles that you can get with some flashlights nowadays, but it's simplicity, and sometimes simplicity is the best. It also has those two light functions, so if you turn it off and turn it back on again, within a few seconds, you get a higher mode with that. Um, these are reasonably inexpensive, and it, it was on my recent essentials list because I really do think everybody should 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 own one of these. 
Then next to that on the right hand side for the pen I have the Bastion bolt action pen. Sometimes when I talk about this it's a beast, it is a freaking beast. This thing weighs nearly as much as my mobile phone. If you ever wanted a tactical pen that you could fend off multiple assailants with, this is it. The, the, the action on the bolt action is brutal. It's honestly absolutely amazing and I'll be bringing you some content on this as well. Um, as far as pens go, it's honestly, it's, it's awesome. It really is. Now I know what you're thinking at this, this point, you're probably thinking, that's weird. What? Nothing to cut things with. In the back, I keep this wee little beastie. So this is the EDC pocket knife, or pocket slice, uh, from Slice. It is a small utility style knife that has a ceramic blade in there, rather than a steel blade. The beauty of ceramic blades is, and especially these slice ones is, on, on your skin, I would nef definitely never do this with a real steel blade. Um, it has a special micro burr on it so that when you do need to cut it, it cuts perfectly and it's razor sharp. But weirdly, when you touch it on your skin, it, it, it doesn't cut you at all. But these are great, C certainly with the ceramic blades. So ceramic blades, they won't rust. Um, they, they don't have issues with chemicals. Um, they certainly don't have issues with oils and that sort of stuff. Um, and as far as keeping an edge, they are, I think it's 11, 10 or 11 times um, sharper than the real steel version, or at least they'll keep that edge 10 to 11 times longer than the real steel version. So that's that's my little quiver, <laughs> little quiver, sorry, that is my little pocket quiver. I'm just gonna drop that down. Um, on the right hand pocket, that, that weird little pocket at the front that nobody seems to know what to use. I, I believe it was originally people put watches and um, lighters and stuff like that in there. I also have from Godenki DC uh, a little titanium coin. Um, I like to fiddle with it. It's just a good thing to have in the pocket and fiddle with. I do silly decisions. Hmm. I've had three cakes. Should I have another one? Yes, I should. Um, depending on whether it says TI or whether it says IT, you know, I'll, I'll decide on silly, frivolous things. But um, I, I do quite like a coin in the pocket. It's just something to fiddle with, not in the, like a fiddle that, you know, you, you just kind of stuck for, for hours messing with it, but it, it's, just, it's just something to, to touch and to hold, which, you know, I quite like coins. So they're the front two pockets. Moving to the back, usually, and that's an important point. Usually, uh, my right rear pocket is where I keep my wallet. But at this moment in time, I mean, call me decadent, but I am William Two Wallets. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep that name. Um, so you're probably thinking, why have you got two wallets? That's a bit bizarre. I am a massive fan of these card holder style wallets. And I've been contacting a few people about making some content specifically on my favorite um, card holder wallets. And I've been sent these two, and I thought the, the best way in which to show these off is to make sure that they are worn in so that you can see how this leather um, adapts to having cards in it. So that's why I'm carrying two. One of them has got fake cards in here so that they, these can be used and the other one's actually got my real cards. So the one here, uh, this is an ultra minimalist um, card holder from, and I hope I pronounced this right. I believe it's pronounced Same leather instead of Sami. When you read it, it says Sami leather, but it's, it's actually pronounced Same, which, was, uh, which is a tribe from Lapland. Which, which uh, you know, we'll, we'll do some more on this at a later date, but this is where the inspiration for the leather work came for this. It's a very simple, beautifully engineered card holder wallet. And if you're looking for ultra minimalist card holders, then I think this is as minimal as you could possibly get, especially with the leather goods. And then on the other side, on the flip side, so this is the Talon wallet. Um, from softy leather so again you know it's it's a it's another uh, 
leather wallet card holder. Well, with this one, you can put more cards into it, so there is quick access to cards on the front, cards on the back, it, f it flips over, and then here in the middle, there is a slip so that you can pull cards out as well. Um, so you can you can actually fit a little bit more into there. So that that's the reason, and I've certainly got a few laughs from Mrs. Morland, and she's like, well, why are you carrying two wallets? That's a bit weird. Um, but that's why I'm currently carrying two wallets for you. I'm doing this for you to make sure that when you see these, that they're properly worn in and, you know, look good. As far as keys in my pocket here, since I've used, since I made content on this, this has not left my side. This is the key loop from Distal Union. Um, uses magnets on here so that you can quickly get things off. When I go for a run, I like to take my car key off my house keys and my studio key. So it's great to be able to do that. And the build quality on this is absolutely amazing. And the magnets are rare earth neodymium um, magnets, um, which hold really fast. So that there, my keys. Uh, what was next? Next is my wristwatch. So at the moment, um, this, and this is brand new, so this has only been on my wrist since last Saturday. And this is the Garmin, what is it? It's the Garmin Instinct Solar. This is the black, or the, I believe they call it the graphite version. Um, so I'm a huge watch fan. I, I, I love backpacks and bags, but after that it's wallets and watches. I absolutely love watches. Um, so this is the solar version of it. I'm testing this out while I run, while I'm out walking, while I'm doing lots of different things so I can make sure that when I bring you some content on this, I'll have made sure that it's, it's as tested as much as possible. What was next? So um, again, you know, as I've just mentioned, outside of the on the body carry, I'm a huge bag fan, always have been a massive bag fan. That, that's mainly from growing up in the Moorlands um, during the 80s. My life was just about getting out into the countryside and just going on adventures. And wherever I went, I always went with a bag with me. It generally had some food, it had some water, and it had little things like the hammer and nails, maybe a small knife. Uh, and it always had rope because I was always climbing trees. Um, and that's, that's kind of gone on with me wherever I go, even if I'm just going for a walk walking the dog I'll always take a bag with me. Uh, the bag that I'm wearing today and certainly testing out this is the Elements backpack from Alpaca. Um, they were good enough to send this to me. Um, <laughs> it's great what can I say um, kind of sp not speechless but I, I struggle sometimes to get words because I just don't want to keep saying it's awesome, it's brilliant, it's awesome, it's brilliant, it's awesome, it's brilliant. But sometimes I get stuck for things to say mainly because I just think bags are cool and at the moment I think Alpaca really are on top of the game as far as what they're making. Um, testing this out, taking this into the office on a daily basis is great. Um, it certainly is a brilliant backpack uh, and definitely one that I've enjoyed testing out hopefully there'll be some content on that soon as well last but not least um, the jacket so this is um, the woodsman's wood the, the, sorry the woodland workers jacket um, and again I hope I pronounce this right I believe it's pronounced from like farm but from um, they are a UK based company that I got in contact with, with making some content on this and they were, they were good enough to send this my way. I've got to say, as far as jackets is concerned, this is possibly the nicest jacket I've ever owned. Um, the craftsmanship on here, the materials that they use. There's gonna be some content coming up on this because I'm gonna test this out so I can make sure that I can bring something to you. And also a bit around the way that their order system works. They have a very unique and kind of special way in which you order from them. Um, but yeah, this is, this. I mean, this is brand new as well. So I only, what day is it today? Today's Saturday. So I only received this yesterday. This came through the post. The fit on this, it, it, it feels like it's been tailored for me. It's kind of weird in that. It's as though they've got my measurements specifically. Um, but again, you know, we'll, we'll have a look a little bit more into this at a later date, but 
you'll definitely be seeing a lot more from this jacket whilst I'm out. It's a great um, autumn winter jacket. Um, it's also waxed as well, which it's a strange wax. It's these new waxed canvases that you can actually wash and it stays waxed. I don't know how it works. I need to you know, investigate it a little bit more. Um, but there you go. That is my EDC for November of 2021. I will try to bring this a little bit more often, maybe say once a quarter so that you can see what I'm testing. Um, but as I say, I've, I've had all of this on for, the, for this entire last week. The new additions mainly has, 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 been, has been the watch, which I got last weekend, uh, and, and this jacket, which I, which I received yesterday. Um, but everything else I've been carrying, yeah, definitely for the last week, maybe even for the last two weeks, just to kind of test things out, you know how I do. I'd love to hear any comments. What do you think of some of the things that I've got here? Uh, maybe any suggestions from you guys, maybe some things that I should be looking at. Um, 2021, I've certainly been trying to get better than I did in 2020. So I've been I've been making notes of the things that you've been suggesting so that I can bring out content and you know we can we can look at that sort of stuff together. Um, but it's definitely nice to hear from you guys um, on this. Just as an extra note, and I know I have touched on this before as well, and this is definitely good news. So I do have my 5,000 subs giveaway coming up. There's been some delays in some of the things, and that mainly comes down to this international shipping issue that we're currently um, experiencing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually, I'm still gonna do my giveaway. Hopefully I'll be able to give you some information on that on Wednesday so that you can find out exactly how the YouTube giveaway and how the Instagram giveaway is going to work. Um, but it might be just slightly scaled down, but that doesn't mean, well that actually means that there'll be two, so you'll actually get a better chance of, of, uh, of taking part and winning from that. So when all of the other things arrive, hopefully by that point I might even have hit 6,000 subs, so we'll do an additional giveaway as part of that. But hopefully it'll all make sense on Wednesday uh, when I talk a little bit more about that. Now I'm conscious that I have been waffling a little bit here towards the end so there'll be some links for any of the things that I've shown today I'll leave some links in the description below I'll also leave some of my um, social media links in there as well so you can follow me on social media if you really want to do see the things that I am testing out Instagram is probably the best place to follow me um, I am on Facebook as well but generally whatever's on Instagram is copied over onto Facebook I, I just I find Instagram's easier for my mental health rather than than Facebook uh, but yeah, YouTube, you know, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share. That would be absolutely amazing. It helps with my channel. But for now, stay safe, stay Morelander, and stay EDC.